so today we have a all it arrived in Nigeria the very day they said it was going to arrive and I paid 2500 Naira. I love it. It's giving what it's supposed to give. I bought this in size 10 and it is so so big and I'm not mad. I'll go wear. Hi friends, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time stopping by seeing my face, please don't make it a last by subscribing. And if it is not, hello, thank you for always coming back. So today we have a all, a pre rating all. And first of all, this is not all of the things I got. We were supposed to get like two bags, but then only one came and after a series of messages, emails and everything, they said you are going to refund me. So first of all, let's talk about the purchasing process, the buying and the delivering process. So most people don't know PLT delivers to Nigeria. I mean, when I posted it, the amount of messages I got, oh, the delivers, oh, how, did you, how did you order, how did you do how did you do that? How did you get it to Nigeria? Did you use personal shopper? Did you did this? I did not use personal shopper. I did everything myself. It's not even that serious. So if you want to order from POT, first thing you need to do in Nigeria is to download the app. When you get the app, you sign up, you put in your normal address, they ask for your um postal code and everything like that. It's just like ordering from any website, it's like ordering from Shane, it's like ordering from AliExpress. So when you get the app, just go on Apple Store or Play Store, type PLT or put it in and you're going to see the app. Then download it and sign up and fill in all the necessary details. So that's just, it is very easy to use. It is not complex at all. And next thing I'm going to talk about is the delivery process. So the delivery took... I think two weeks because I ordered sometime around August 11 or 7, between 7 or 11, I'm not very, very sure. And the estimated delivery day was August 24. So being my first time ordering and then I was writing my exams, I had little to no time to like keep up with everything. I was just so busy, I had no time. And I was expecting like a call. Because mostly when you order from Shein, they bring it, it's doorstep, they bring it to your house. So I thought it was going to be doorstep as well because I paid £12 for the delivery, which I think is okay, all the way from the UK to Nigeria, £12. I don't know, I don't know if it varies with like size of what you are getting or the kg or how, mu how much items you are getting. But my friend that ordered more than me as well paid 12 pounds 12.50 pounds or 12 pounds as well it and that's all you pay then when it, when it gets to nigeria okay let me just take it back to like the whole process so after paying and everything 12 pounds for delivery from august 20 i started tracking the order and whenever i try to track it it keeps showing this i'm going to put it back i'm going to put it here on the screen it's kept saying pending, pending as requested. Our delivery partner is holding this item at Lagos, Nigeria. Blah blah blah. So I was hoping okay, well, someday it will move from pending and they'll bring it to my house. But they did not. So after my exams that I had time, then I thought I should start like checking all the post office around to see you know, maybe they sent it to the post office or something. Then I started with phase one and when I got there, they tracked it for me. There's this websites you can use to track your order in case of next time it's called um track and trace track trace.com or track i will leave the link in the description as well as to how you can track your order yourself to show you exactly where it is if it's in lagos it will tell you the post office it is everything so i went there and they i went to the night post that face one they checked it for me and they told me where my order was so I went to the post office the next day and getting there, they said I was going to pay, the lady said I was going to pay two five extra for delivery, two five as per the custom clearing or something. So I was like, 
What if I had a, lo a whole lot more oil and I mean like my bag is bigger than the shed is still going to be 2.5 that's so basically you are paying 12.5 pounds from UK to Nigeria and when you pick when you want to pick it up in Nigeria you pay 2,500 naira. that's for like I don't know other places I don't know so the place I you I it was the post office I went to that's for Ikota post office I don't know for any other place I don't know the amount you're going to pay but because that post office is 2,500 naira I paid and I picked up my package and I've seen other people say they got it at home like it was delivered to their house so I don't know why and I've, I asked the lady if it is possible to get it to have it sent down to my house she said okay that's fine that I could send the delivery person or they can let me find basically third party delivery not from them you have to like pick it up from the post office so some people said they got it at home but no i had to go to the post office to pick it up and i paid 2500 naira and tracking it i realized it arrived in nigeria the very day they said it was going to arrive in nigeria so maximum amount of days for the delivery is like two weeks you're going to get it in like two weeks nice for me and then getting there i realized everything did not come so also, if you have any issue, you can as well send them a message. You can as well text them on iMessage. That's like very easy way to text them. Although when you keep texting, though, though, although when you text, they keep sending you automated messages. So it's obviously to like keep pestering them because I was sending the messages like I was so angry, like where is my order? <laughs> so finally, they replied me normally and they said they were going to. Refer send it again and then after checking they said all of the items were out of stock and will have to refund me so talking about payments how i paid i skipped that part so how i paid you can't pay with your nera card due to the 20 dollar limiting so you can't pay for anything above 20 dollar with your naira card and then i had to send money to a friend in the uk then i used his card so then I used his card. So that's the only issue I feel like you might face. That's like the payment part, getting a dollar account. Although I have, I've, although I already requested for a dollar card now, but it is yet to arrive. But if you have an error card, I'm sorry, you might not be able to, you will not be able to pay due to the $20 limit. So that's basically everything concerning getting it down to Nigeria, I believe. And if you have any further questions, then you can as well send me a DM on Instagram or just leave a comment and I'll definitely reply. I'll definitely reply. So let's get right into the all. So this is the first outfit. This is a dress and it has this rope tip <laughs> going on that you can just tie like this. So this is like a satin dress and the quality is really, really nice. I got it for 10.25 pounds and I love it so much honestly. I really really love it. I got it in size 8 and I'm not mad because on the, now I don't even know where I fall. I don't know if I'm wearing 8 so I'm wearing 10. I don't know. So I got items in like different sizes. I got some in size 8. I got some in size 10. But this one is in size 8 and it fits perfectly. Absolutely love. 10 over 10 for me. 10 over 10. Yes, so the next outfit is this top. Um, I'm going to put a video of me wearing it here. I got this also in size 8. I was mentioning earlier that I had size like issue. I don't know where I fall in my body and 8 or 10. And this I got in size 8. It was a bit tight and the zip worn out. Yes, the zip worn out. So I don't know. Not like it does not fit, but it was too way too tight. I was not comfortable in it one bit. I was not comfortable in it at all. And I don't think I want to stress when it was really, really stressful wearing it to do this video. So I'll just leave a video for you guys. I got it for I got this for six pounds. 
and it's actually very nice i love it i really really love it like it has this cheek look that i like but the problem i have with it is the size and the zip had worn out so sorry i'm wearing it and that's what you guys want. So the next outfit on our list is this really cute dress. Back to the sizing issue I was talking about. You guys won't believe this is in size 10. This is size 10. And I got this on sales for £3.75, which I think is a good buy. It's a very good buy because the actual price is like £10, but it was on sales. And I love So just imagine I've gotten this in size 8. I mean, it won't fit me at all. But this size 10 is perfect. Perfecto. I don't really fancy body con dresses like this. But you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm looking into trying new things as for air and outfit and everything. And I would say this isn't bad. It is not. I probably wear it out for lunch or dinner or something. I love it. I'll give it 7 over 10. Yes, 7 over 10. Let me know what you guys know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, okay? So, the next outfit is this jean. I'm going to put a video of me right here. This jean, I don't know, I got this in size 10 and it is so so big. It is so big. I should have gotten it in size 8. I've not really gotten the hand on the sizing. So I don't know if I should stick to 10 or stick to 8. I don't know. Because some 10 don't fit, some 10 fit perfectly, some 8 don't fit as well. So I don't know. But the jean, but if, as for this jean, the quality is great, like really nice quality. It is thick. And I like the color. The actual price is eighteen pounds, and I get and I got it on sales for eight point seventy five pounds. I love it, but I don't really like I don't really like giving clothes to tailors who have men to slim fit. All those things I don't like it. Like I like to get my perfect size. I hate amending clothes. I don't even have anything like I can give it to. But I'll just try to like. Hold the waist a bit, maybe that will work. I don't like having the trousers, and I'm never planning on adding more weight. I'm trying to like remain like this, so I don't know what I'm going to be concerning this, but we'll see. It's a size 10 and it does not fit, but it is nice. Um, I got this in size 10 and it fits perfectly. It is my perfect size, the waist is perfect, the hip is giving what it's supposed to give. Perfect, I'll give it 10 over 10. I love it. And this pants, the actual price is for 28 pounds, but I got it on sales for 15.50 pounds. I love it so much, however, I'm, like, I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear this jean. I go wear. Love. Ten over ten. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <coughs> and I am absolutely in love with how versatile this dress is. I mean, you would never know it's a dress. It fits perfectly as a top. So you can either go as a top or you can wear it as a dress. Nothing spoiled. 100% okay as a top and as a dress. 
So how do you like it? Do you like it as a dress or as a top? Let me know in the comments. I love it as boots. So the next look is this top. It's pinned down. And I know it was going to be this open, but it is not bad. And I feel like it is what, if I had gotten sides then, it would be better. Because this size 8 now, it's supposed to be pinned down, but I can't pin anything because it's too tight. So I should have gotten this in size 10. But all the same, it's not bad, but it's a bit open and I don't like that. I don't know if I'll be able to wear it though. It's nice, it goes with this. Let me tell you guys one funny thing. I already got a green jean for this, for this top. Before it came, I got, when I went shopping for my sister's birthday, I saw this green jean that I really, really liked and I thought it was going to match with this top and I got it already, but now I don't even going to wear it. I don't know, I got this for, um, I got this for 5.50 pounds and the actual price is 15 pounds, but I got it for that on sales. So let me tell you guys something, shopping for when I was shopping, I was shopping majorly items on sales. As a Nigerian baby, me, I was looking out for the sales and just picking items there. And so far, I'm not even mad about that because I mean, good buys. Good buys. jean um i love the wash i love the color it's wide leg and i got it in size 10 and it turned out to be too big way too big for me i'll probably like amend it i don't have anything or anything i keep saying amend i mean like i have someone that's going to fix it for me so i got this in size 10 the quality is okay the color is nice the only problem I have with it is the waist and the hip. But I feel like if I use a belt, it might it might work or not. So this is for £20 on normal day. But I got it for £7 on sales. I wish I had gotten a size 8. But I was so scared of getting something that would fit. And now I ended up with big big jeans that won't size me it is i'll find someone to make this for me hopefully that works because right now i'm just like so sad i really wish it was size a it should have been perfect perfect for me Outfit has to be my favorite because what I mean, I love this so much, you guys. And I got this in size 10, it's a bit loose, but it's not bad, it's perfect. Okay, I have something like this that I got in size 8 from Razor Shop, and it was like too, too tight. It's maybe sizes I got. It will be it. But this one, it is not tight and it is not so loose. I feel it is okay. It's size 10. Um, it's match and the quality is okay. I love it. I love it. This was for £38 normally. But I got it for £7.75. That's like 80% off. Lucky me.
I love it, guys. I love it so much. That's to be my favorite ride. So, so far, which one is your favorite ride? Let me know in the comment. Let me know in the comment which one is your favorite ride so far. This is how uh, it looks on the model. And then the last outfit, I don't remember I said all of my items didn't come. So, sorry if it is not a lot because everything didn't come. And I just thought I should do the other because it was one of the reasons I got the item so I could do it. So I, I could do the haul on YouTube and I can't just say okay because all of my items didn't come then I won't do it anymore. So even though the items are like few, I just hope you guys enjoy the video and also like gain one or two things on how to order yourself. So the last thing I got was this two piece, um, when I say lingerie, it has this bralette and this i don't think i should you guys i'm really i'm really a sucker for two-piece underwear outfits like i like matching bras matching everything and i got this for so it's 15 pounds normal price and i got it for 8.50 pounds i've not tried it i've not tried it i got it in size i got it in size medium and I think it's going to fit perfectly. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, so this is going to be the end of this video. Let me know any other brand you want me to shop from and give you all. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and give it a comment. And if you have any further questions, you can always send me a DM or leave a comment. See you guys in my next video by God's grace. Bye!